Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at different uses of tools on different devices. This video is going to look at Trello and my use of Trello on iOS devices. That's me, that, that's the iPad and the iPhone. Um, I have earlier videos talking about my use of Trello and how I use Trello to save my to-do list and my projects list and sort of keep myself or try to keep myself organized. As I've discussed in other videos, especially the Trello on Android video that I put out, um, it's important for me to be able to access this to-do list across multiple spaces. So for one, I can get online, go to my browser, and I can see my to-do list, and I can modify my to-do list uh, and my projects. And for the most part, this is the primary way that I access my to-do list. I'll sit down at my computer, and I'll be working, and as I'm working, I'll sort of check off different pieces that I'm working on, take notes, um, you know, I was conducting research yesterday and I sort of went in and took notes on this card so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. Um, but especially with my to-do list, with my use of Trello, I want to be able to check my Trello list and check my to-do list and, and sort of keep track of this whole uh, set of stacks and cards throughout the day. And what that means is my process is first thing in the morning I want to get up and before things really get started, um, after my morning routine, after I, I wake up and I meditate, after I work out, um, as I'm getting the kids ready, as that day is starting, what I want to do is I want to look at my to-do list and figure out, okay, what do I need to do today? What's a definite thing for today? What are achievable goals? What are things that have to happen today? And then throughout the day, I'll sort of keep a tab open to Trello and I'll, and I'll pay attention to what's happening. And then again, at the end of the day, at night, as I'm sort of settling down, either on my phone or on my iPad, I'll pull it out and I'll review Trello and figure out, okay, what's on this list for the next day and make sure the list is cleared out. If not, move things throughout the week, but basically manage my to-do list. Typically, what I'll do is at night, I'll pull out my Android device because it's there um, and, and, you know, check in on, on Trello and see what's happening. But what I found myself doing is in the morning, after I meditate, after I work out, what I'll typically do is I'll, I'll stop and I'll read something for 5-10 minutes. Um, as part of a journaling activity that I was doing, I would stop and read um, you know, something, either some stoic philosophy or, or something to sort of get my mind operating in the morning and sort of reflect on the day as part of my journaling process. And as part of that, I would do my journaling and, and my reading on the iPad. Um, and so it was a natural fit for me to also, as I'm there, as I'm reading, as I'm reflecting, as I'm journaling on the iPad, it was a natural fit to sort of just open up Trello on the iPad and check in on my to-do list. So the nice thing is within like 10, 15 minutes, I can read, reflect, journal, and also at the same time check in on my to-do list and then walk away, go at breakfast with the kids, take a shower, do whatever to get my day started. Um, so once again, this is just being device agnostic, being able to pull out whatever device um, is there and whatever you have access to. So here's my, my list on Trello. This is my board on Trello um, that I do most of my organization, um, and I have other videos talking about it. But if we go into Trello on iOS, what we're looking for is the app to pull it up on uh, the iPhone and the iPad. So if we look at the iPad, it's easier just to go into the App Store and sort of just search for Trello and figure out, okay, where is it, install it. One of the nice things that you also see is that it has the, the Apple Watch. Um, as I've talked about in the past, there's also, um, you know, Android Watch apps for this. At this point, I don't have a, a, a wearable device anymore. Um, but if it's something that, you know, you have, it might be interesting to, to pull that up and, and pull it into your, you know, structure. So if I open up the Trello app, this looks exactly um, like the Android app. Uh, it's very clean, it's very streamlined, um, it's very easy to basically pull up those that, that board and those stacks and those cards that you set up in your browser. So the nice thing is that I can come in and I can see what different things I have to do for the day. And so I can say, okay, well, you know what, I, I do have time today. I want to make sure I get this blog post done and I basically move it over to today. And if I was 
um, you know, very thoughtful. I could sort of stack the order of these. So you can see how nice it is to almost like a, you know, my view of Trello is that we're, we're thinking about this as like a large whiteboard with a lot of like post-it notes or cards on the whiteboard and you're sort of moving things out throughout the day and throughout your week. And in the browser, it works very, it, it works nicely. But the nice thing is on your mobile devices, you can really pull things out and move them around. So as I move over to next in line, you know, at night, I might look at my Friday and say, okay, I don't have a lot of stuff going on Friday. So what I really want to do is I want to take this little post on writing workflow and I want to add that into my Friday um, and make sure that I get that done. So Trello very nicely moves things around and I can I can add notes to different things. So once again, I can open up a card and I can save save myself a note. Um, you can see that I, I have a note that I that I typed out previously but it's very easy to to take notes and leave comments and I'm gonna have future videos on how I've started to leave comments and sort of keep notes about a project within each card um, but for the most part uh, Trello especially on the iPad is a nice device uh, is a nice platform for me or a tool for me on that platform to keep track of stuff um, there is a widget built in uh, now so if I slide over I can have a Trello widget and I can add photos I can have the camera I can add a card I can have a clipboard um, to save different pieces um, but for the most part I don't use the widget at all if I need to use Trello it's primarily I just pull up Trello and I'll review my lists for the day and I'll move things around um, if need be I'll take notes on it but this is just thinking about my to-do list and my projects and my goals and my objectives. And so this is a way for me to keep track of what I'm doing that day, that week, and be, be somewhat flexible and agile as I move different things around. So once again, this is uh, Trello on iOS. That's your iPhone and it's your iPad. Um, for me, I use an Android device as my phone, but then I use the iPad uh, just as a secondary device, as a larger screen device, um, and, and, it, and it tends to be a pretty powerful tool for me. So by all means, if this video helps you, please subscribe. Um, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Reach out. Let me know if I got anything right or wrong, um, and hopefully uh, this was some benefit to you. Thanks again.